Hey everyone, welcome to yet another walkthrough. Willie Morgan and the Cares of Bone Town. Now this is an adventure game I've been waiting for quite a long time. I'm pretty excited. Huge thanks for the game key. And let's start with a walkthrough. Now for those of you who have been following the game, you will uh, notice that this first section is actually the demo which was released a couple of months ago. And while my initial plan was to feature this part of the house only, I thought that I would be showcasing the demo twice. And thus, the first part of this walkthrough will cover a much bigger portion of the game. So those of you who have played the demo, or watch the videos of it, you will be familiar with the first section. I did it! My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09 but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. So these words are highlighted in red Perfect. because I already found the bike, or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the They are the objectives. Too. So we need to reassemble the bike and find some money. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? We don't need the tutorial. Right, let's start. Uh, it's very simple. Basically, left click is interaction and right click is observation. Let's get the memo. And what basically that is are the parts of the bike we need to acquire. So over here we see a wheel. Let's open the wardrobe door. Let's get Essential the belt. for traveling. Let's close it, and every time we pick up something that has to do with a bike, you see this green tick, that means we've got the chain. We have a lot of other things to do, let's open the drawer, Empty. we will use it. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. As a ladder. Too many drawers, I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Let's get the they pedals. They will come in handy, I'll take them with me. Now we can reach the wheel. 
Here they are. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. Let's see some other things. That's the piggy bank. We can't get anything from here, but we can get the Joto compass. Joto always had one too, or so they say. And here we can see the Dreamcatcher, which is actually a wheel. That's the second wheel. Let's look at it. It certainly helped me sleep better. But let's pick it up. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. So we can't do anything yet. This key is tempting, but you cannot pick it up. No way. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? So let's exit the room and go to the right corridor. Let's get some things. Bicycle seat. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. Let's get the plunger. I feel more at ease taking it with me. And we can open the toolbox. If only there was a rubber chicken, but these could come in handy too. Got some things we need. And let's enter the toilet. Open the right closet door, we can get the let's sun lotion. It. One never knows what might come next. The other part we need, we can use a plunger on the water. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. We it's certainly a, filter. a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Which is actually a cog. Now we can exit. Time to go through that door. It's our parents bedroom. Let's go here, open the Strange cactus. Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. Let's take the it ring. It looks ancient. And there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow! Now in your inventory you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory. Select an if so it basically says how you combine items, you just drag them. Now we can use the ring on the compass. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. And it's a lock picking tool. Now let's look at the alarm clock. It's my mother's alarm clock. Ever since she gave it to me to repair though, it stopped working altogether. And if we try to pick it up... It could contain something important that would be of use to me. Okay, let's use the screwdriver. Let's see what's wrong with it. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. And I let's think get I'll need bell. it shortly. Time to leave. And let's go downstairs. Let's pick the post-it. You don't really need them. There's information that could be useful. And let's enter this door. It's the kitchen. There are some tins over here. And this, let's my see. used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Got the money we needed. This? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. 
There's no greater emergency than this. It's quite a bit of money. Once the piggy bank is opened, I could have a small fortune. Let's open the fridge. We see a handlebar. Let's try to pick it up. I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. So let's use the screwdriver on this loose screw. Just what I needed. And now I can go anywhere it. without it. Let's leave. And let's go upstairs to retrieve the other parts of the bike. Go into our room. Let's close the door so that we can see the lamp over here. Now let's use the lock picking tool on the piggy bank. Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. So we can uh, get the dream car catcher. Let's use the wrench. The screws don't turn. They got rusty with time. Okay, let's try to use then the dried up sun lotion. It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. So it has to be liquid. Let's open the lamp. Et voila! And use the lotion. The heat will make Excellent. it fluid the again. The lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. Let's use it on the dream catcher. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. And let's use the monkey wrench now it again. Works. And there we have it. And time to assemble the bike. Let's put the wheel. Another part. Almost ready. The handlebar. Very good. There's still something missing. The second wheel. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. Time for the bell. How professional. Nearly there. The cogs. Perfect. A few more parts. And this cog over Nearly here. There. Not long to go. The seat. I'd really love to try it. I think there's still something missing. Time for the Not belt. Not long to go. Nearly there. And the pedals. They connect perfectly. The bike is ready. I just have to take it and that's it. So Bone let's take Town, the bike. Here I come. And off to Bone Town. And this is where the demo let's was go. finished. It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond Oops. of it. So we've got the money in the leather. Let's enter Bone Down. Now the lender mentioned an inn. Let's look at it, the sign. I've arrived at the Dead Man Inn. This was the place I always stayed with mom and dad when we came here. And it's the same place indicated by my father in his letter. Let's go inside then. Let's talk to the innkeeper.
Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. So number 09 was the one that our father indicated in the letter. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? So let's take room 10. Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan? That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Let's go for this option, does it really matter? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> so we cannot take room uh, key to room 09. So let's settle for 10, temporarily. Let's go upstairs. This guy's fishy. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. So let's look at the stain. I shudder to think what it might be. Color and density do not bode well. We will use it later. Let's go for room 010. That's room 09. The one we need to get access to. Let's use the key and enter. That's our room. Let's get the aftershave. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. And let's get there the are certain form. places that can scare you with a floor like this. First, I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. So let's leave and go back downstairs. the form I'm back with the form you talked about but I haven't got a pen with me and I still have to fill it out doesn't matter give it to me so I can write the essential data down thank you 
Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this game. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um. So let's go back upstairs, see what's wrong with the noise. Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? How did you get here so fast? I heard screaming and thought there was a lady in danger. But I didn't even scream. Then it was my sixth sense, boy. The sixth sense of an old innkeeper. What could have happened according to you? So let's guess, uh, I guess a robber came in? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance. Thanks, my good man. So let's go down again. And he's already here. Let's talk to him again. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. And you have all the services of the dead man in at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the do not disturb. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem and speeds up my movement, but climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. 
So basically that's a clue. He actually told us that uh, if he cannot use the corridor, he takes the back stairs, which takes more time. What's the do not disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, do not disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Thanks, very useful. Thanks, and goodbye. Mm. So let's go upstairs. Let's use the sign on this door. Let's see if I can. We used it for a different thing, but Done. anyway. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. The center, that's the small warehouse. Bucket and rug. The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this thing. Is there anything else here? Let me remember... Oh yeah, the tripod. And now let's continue with our plan. You see the stain, let's use the tripod here. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. And the bucket. Just how I pictured it. And the aftershave. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. Now let's go to the room and call uh, room service. I can't open it. Oops. Let's unlock it, go inside. Let's use the rope. What now? Oh, that must be the new guest. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. Now it's the opportunity to go back down since he will be late. And let's take the... This is my chin. Get to room 09. Let's use it on the door. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! And this is the room our father used to say. Let's look at the fireplace. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly that place. That was mentioned in I the letter. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. Let's enter the bathroom. Now the drawer. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. That's exactly what we need to pry the brick. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? Well, let's look at the card. It's a card for the Bonetown Library. The card belongs to Henry Morgan, my father. 
Let's see the last red book, Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. And this is it folks for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. We'll stay the night here. And tomorrow morning, we will have some snooping to do in the town. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great day.